Hi, in this video I'll show you how to generate random numbers that sum up to a certain number. Now this is uh, some tips that I got actually from a Stack Overflow article. I have the link up here on the top. You can just Google for that particular title and it'll take you there. And with this example, it's going to be using a list of eight random numbers that need to add up to a hundred. So I thought it was pretty instructive. So let's see how it was done. So what they did was they used a random number generated, the rand function, and they just had eight instances of that. So let me bring it down here. So we have our eight instances of that random number generated. And from that, what we need to do is have it divide by the sum of this. So I'm going to do sum, press tab, just sum of that column is fine. And then we multiply it by 100. So that gives us our random numbers. If I take the fill handle and drag it down, it will copy the formula down, you see here. Now, if I sum it, equals sum, you see that it sums up to 100, right? And if I press the F9 key or delete key, for the most part, it will get those numbers. And I say that because if we didn't want decimals, we want rounded numbers, we would have to kind of wrap this with a round function, comma, and then have whole numbers. Control enter to stay in that cell, and then drag the fill handle down there to fill it out. You'll notice that now it really doesn't uh, give us 100. If I press delete a couple of times, it does get into the vicinity of that, and you can take the 100, the instances where it does add up to 100, uh, there. And if you really didn't care about the decimals, yeah, you can you can take the round off. But if you did, you wanted the round numbers. Whoops. Let's undo that. Let's bring this one up back up here. Take the fill handle back up there. If you really didn't care about uh, the round, the the decimals, we, we can put the take the round off, right? And it will add back up to 100. Take that, drag it down there, and we have 100. Press the F9 or delete key a couple of times. It always adds up to 100, right? Uh, another way to, to do this, or one way to, to add some extra functionality into this, is to uh, put the let's sell, sell here. Let's say I have, to have 100 there. And I'm going to use this to reference this cell. Uh, F4. Press F4. All right, press F4 again. Uh, let's see, that didn't work. All right, so now control enter to stay in that cell. Let's drag the fill handle down to copy that formula down. So now it's all always referencing uh, D1, right? So, whoops, press escape. So if I wanted to change this to, let's say 200, everything should add up to 200 now, or something funky like 333. That's all gonna add up to 333. Now, as I mentioned before, if we wanted to round it, we didn't want decimals numbers, we wanted to round all of this, press tab, and then uh, comma, now my round digits is zero, close parentheses, control enter to stay in that cell, and drag the fill handle down. You can see, in this instance, it did add up to 333, but if I press F9 or delete a couple of times, you can see that it doesn't. So there are some instances where uh, when we're rounding it, it doesn't really fit it out too well. But in the most part, it does. You can just pick up those random numbers that do add up to the number that you want uh, and use those as the random numbers. But I'm sure that there's going to be some folks out there that are really well versed into statistics and able to kind of figure that portion out where maybe we don't have to round up like that to get whole numbers. But if you do, please feel free to add your information in the comments and it'll help out other people in this thread for the video. So this is the way that I learned to create random number generator that can add up to a certain amount. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.